This video is going to be a very basic introduction to two concepts, chirality and enantiomers. Both of these concepts relate to an object's mirror image. So to start off, I'm going to draw an object. It's just going to be a sphere. And I'm going to draw a mirror right here. And then on the other side of this mirror, I'm going to draw the object's mirror image like this. I'm going to make the object a little bit more interesting than a sphere. I'm going to put some quadrants in this sphere, both sides, and I'm going to color all four of these quadrants. I'm going to color this one white, and uh, for the mirror image, I'm going to make sure that I color the same one. Again, remember that this is a mirror image, so I want to color the quadrant that is in the top side closest to the mirror, top side closest to the mirror. And the one underneath that, I'm going to color green like that. And then if we just kind of continue going around, the one on the bottom left-hand side or the bottom side away from the mirror, I'm going to color that one white. And the last one, top side away from the mirror, that one will be yellow. So what I have done here is drawn an object and its mirror image. Now when we're thinking about chirality and also when we're thinking about enantiomers, we want to think about whether or not an object is identical to its mirror image or not identical to its mirror image. Meaning, is this object identical to its mirror image or are they different? Now at first glance, when we first look at them, it might look like they are two different objects. But if we just take this mirror image and rotate it, now, ignoring the fact that I didn't draw the circles the exact same size, if we rotate the object, we can see that they actually are identical to each other. Again, ignoring that they're not the same size and the squiggly lines are not drawn in the same way. For both of these objects, the way that they're positioned right now, the yellow portion is in the upper left-hand corner, the green portion is in the lower right-hand corner, the other two portions are gray. So these two objects are identical to each other. The object on the left is identical to its mirror image on the right. When an object is identical to its mirror image, it is described as being achiral. Sometimes people want to pronounce that achiral. Um, it's a hard ch -k sound, so it's achiral. Achiral, and that just simply means that the object is identical to its mirror image. Your hands are achiral. There are a lot of everyday objects that are achiral, and there are a lot of molecules that are achiral as well. They are identical to their mirror images. Let's draw another example of another molecule, or I'm just gonna use a sphere again because that's pretty easy to draw, and I'm gonna have another mirror here, and we're gonna do its mirror image again. And I'm gonna make four quadrants in this again. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more interesting. The upper quadrant that is closest to the mirror, we're going to make white again. And the one underneath it, we'll make green again. And the other upper one, we'll make yellow, same as last time. But this time, instead of repeating that white quadrant, we're going to get a different color in there. So let's make this other one pink down here. So again, we've drawn another object and its mirror image. And just like the last time, we want to ask ourselves, what is the relationship between these two objects? Specifically, are these two objects identical to each other or are they different? Now we saw in the, in the first example that all we had to do was rotate the mirror image and rotate it around a way and we could find a way to make it identical. So let's see if we can do that again. So I'm gonna try to line up the yellow quadrants. So if I rotate it like this and the yellow quadrants are the same, now uh, look all the pink and the, the white ones are out of place. So I'm gonna rotate it again and get that the pink ones lined up. And now the green and the yellow ones are messed up. If I get the green ones lined up, now the pink and the white ones are messed up. So there's just, there's literally gonna be no way that I can turn these turn this one around so that it is identical to its mirror image. It's just impossible. When an object is not identical to its mirror image, the object is referred to as chiral, not chiral, chiral. And again, that means that it is different from its mirror image. 
So when an object is chiral, it is different from its mirror image. That means the object and its mirror image are two totally different things. So if we were talking about molecules, this would be one molecule and this would be a totally different molecule. These two objects, whether they're molecules or your hand, which is another example of something chiral, these two objects do have a specific relationship and this relationship is that they are enantiomers of each other. Enantiomers it's a word that we use to describe objects that are mirror images that are not identical to each other. So the first two that we looked at, these were mirror images that were identical to each other. So we would not describe these as enantiomers. We would describe these as being just the exact same object. But these two, because they are different from each other, these we would describe as two different objects having the relationship that they are enantiomers of each other.